In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for KOH plus H2SO4. That's potassium hydroxide plus sulfuric acid. We have a base and an acid. This is going to be a neutralization reaction, and it's also a double displacement. So let's write the charges up here, and that'll help us figure out, predict what our products are. Potassium has a one plus charge. The OH, the hydroxide, that has a negative charge. If you're having problems with charges, there's a link in the description on how to figure these out. We have H, we said that was a plus one. And then the sulfate, that's a polyatomic ion. It has a two minus charge. So those are the ions. Now in a double displacement reaction, in this case also a neutralization reaction, the K will go with the SO4. The positive will go with the negative KSO4. But because we have a negative two here, and this is just positive one, we need two of these Ks, two of these potassiums. So K2SO4, that's our potassium sulfate, plus the OH, will go with the H. This negative will go with this positive, and we'll get HOH, which we're gonna call H2O, same thing. So the equation's not balanced, but we do have our molecular equation, and now we can balance it. So to balance this equation, it looks like I could put a two here, so I'll have two Ks, and I'll need to put a two in front of my H2O as well. If you need help with that, there's a link in the description on how to balance this equation. So we have our molecular equation. Now we need to write the states for each one. We're going to assume that these are aqueous, that they're dissolved in water so that this reaction can take place. And we know that water is a liquid, so we'll put an L after that. But for the K2SO4, we don't really know what the state of that is just by looking at it. So either you've memorized the solubility rules or you can look them up on a solubility table. Either way, when you look it up, this is soluble in water. So it's going to dissolve. If it's soluble, if it's dissolved, we put that AQ, dissolved in water, after it. So these are the states for each compound in this equation. Next, we're going to split the soluble compounds, those aqueous compounds, into their ions. And this will be the complete or total ionic equation. So we have K plus, but we have two of them. So we'll call that 2K plus. And I won't write aqueous and everything after these right now. And then I have two of these hydroxides, so plus 2OH minus. Then over here, I have two of these H pluses, again, two H plus, and then one of the sulfate ion there, so plus SO4. I'm gonna shrink this down to give ourselves some more room. And then on this side of the equation, we said this was one plus, and this is two minus. So we have two of these K pluses, and then we have SO4, two minus, one of those, plus, we don't break the water apart. The water stays together, so we just say 2H2O. Let's shrink that down too. So we've got our total ionic equation. Now we cross out the spectator ions, and that's going to give us the net ionic. So we're looking for things that are the same on both sides. Like we have 2K plus here, 2K plus there, cross them out. SO4, 2 minus here, right there. And that's really all we can cross out here. So this is the net ionic equation, which we'd write like this. So that's the net ionic equation for KOH plus H2SO4, potassium hydroxide plus water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.